Okay, so let's continue with 8.11. Systems of two interacting objects. Okay. Um, so what we saw in the last um, one on 8.11, last video, was that for a system <coughs> of two interacting objects that are applying internal forces on each other, the only change in momentum will be due to an external force. Okay? Now, let us look at this idea of center of mass. Okay, so remember you've got two objects that are interacting with each other. Each of those objects has inertia. Each of those objects are applying forces on each other. Okay, so there's a lot happening inside the system. But um, let's just take a look now simply at the center of mass. Remember the center of mass is a position in space inside, the, inside your system where it is as if all the mass is located there. And the system is moving as if all of the mass is located there. I hope, hope that makes sense. So if there's no external force, remember that the velocity of the center of mass will be constant. However, the, if there's an external force to the system, this velocity will change. Okay. So now let's consider this uh, center of mass. So from chapter 6.6, .6, we have that momentum is equal to m, inertia, times the velocity of the center of mass. Okay? Where the, the mass, the inertia, is equal to m1 plus m2 because we have two carts. Okay? And the inertia in this system remains constant. So your time rate of change of your momentum is equal to ddt of m times the center of mass velocity and if you if you uh, work it out it beca it becomes this okay so your so basically what we're saying is that your your external force is equal to m times the acceleration of the center of mass so this is the point is is please don't just get lost in these in the maths what we're saying is, is, is that if you've got two objects interacting with each other inside a system, okay, we can calculate the acceleration of the center of mass simply if we had the, uh, the external force. So the acceleration of that center of mass can be calculated if we simply calculate the external force and divide it by the inertia of the system. Okay? So the center of mass of a two-object system accelerates as though both objects were located at the center of mass and the external force were exerted at that point. Okay, so we've got these two objects. They're, they're doing all kinds of things inside the system. But the, the center of mass accelerates as though all this mass, all the inertia, will be concentrated at that point, and this external force is being applied at that point. Okay, that's what's happening. Okay? So you can now begin to see the power of the center of mass concept. Although we cannot determine the acceleration of the individual carts without knowing more about their interactions, Equation 836 allows us to calculate the motion of their center of mass regardless of the details of the magnetic interaction. Okay? Alright, see you in the next one.